Now, despite that, that, why is it that his conclusion is more or less the same, which is after this election, the status quo will continue. 2024, what we expect from Taiwan will be the status quo. Okay, why is that? The reason Taiwan is going to be a status quo is because United States right now doesn't have the energy, doesn't have the source, doesn't have anything to start a confrontation with China. Joe Biden and his administration are the ones who want a status quo. And if that's the case, Taiwan will to have the status quo. David Sachs knows that. He knows that. Deep down, he knows this is what the administration wants, then Taiwan will follow. Will to follow the order. And that's why we are not going to see any major changes in the Taiwan Strait. This actually proves that Taiwan is simply doesn't have its own will. It is just the puppet of the United States. And China, mainland China knows that. China is fine with the status quo right now because China has its own schedule, uh, has its own planning and thinking about this reunification, but it is in the Chinese constitution. So that's going to happen. The reunification is going to happen, but they have their own plan. It just turns out that both Beijing and the Washington thinking 2024 to keep the status quo works for both of them. That's the reason. But David Sachs spent this whole time read this whole article, give you the impression, oh, people in Taiwan, regardless which party wins, they want status quo, and they also want to close to the West, and blah, blah, blah. It's not true. Okay. <laughs> Why does he say that? Well, because people like David Sachs, who seems like they against the Ukraine war, they're not really against the Ukraine war. They're against the Ukraine losing the war. They have no problem having wars and instabilities and the conflicts around the world. They don't have problem with that. They just don't like to see their puppet losing the war. And actually, for people like Danny Sachs, they probably want to see some tensions and conflicts and maybe all-out war in the Taiwan Strait to divert the attention from Ukraine because it's embarrassing. Now, like I said, the Biden administration simply doesn't have the energy. They are engulfed in the Ukraine war the crisis in the Red Sea, and of course, the still ongoing uh, bombing of the Gaza, all right? So they simply cannot start another front. That's the reason. That's not because the Biden administration doesn't want to have a war. They can't have a war with China at this point. 